This is my Ricoh GR3. It has been my favorite camera for about two and a half years now. It pretty much goes with me everywhere I go. The GR3 really has it all. It has the IBIS, it has the APS-C sensor, and the image quality is amazing. Not to mention positive film and negative film, which is the brand new film simulation that just came in. And this camera is just so special to me. And if I have to put my feelings into words, I would describe using the Ricoh GR3 as eating a whole bowl of Lucky Charms with nothing but the marshmallows. But it has this downside. And a couple things. Number one is it's very prone to have sensor dust. And you can't remove this yourself. You have to take the camera apart or send it in for repair. So that's number one. Number two is it's also prone to this squirrel wheel issue, which I'm experiencing. Some people say you spray contact cleaner. I'm not brave enough to do that, so all I did is I remapped my ISO using this button instead. That being said, we're here to talk about camera accessories for the Ricoh, so I will introduce you the JJC UV filter. This is a stick-on UV filter, as you can see, it's extremely slim and it just stays on there. Now, there are two camps of people whenever it comes to sticking anything onto your camera. There are people like me who said, you know what, as long as it protects the sensor from dust, it's great. The second camp would be, hell no, never stick anything onto it because when you want to take this off, you're going to rip the front element apart and hence breaking your camera and voiding warranty and all that. I completely agree with camp number two, but I'm also wanting that peace of mind so i did stick it on myself now it's not the end of the world if you want to take this adhesive apart all you need to do is get dental floss and work in between the seam and don't brute force it it's a very delicate camera but if you're a hardcore camp number two guy and you don't want to stick anything onto the front element that is totally cool i get it then get this Nisi filter adapter. It's good with the 49 millimeter filter thread filters, pretty much anything universal, and it's pretty cheap as well, which is amazing. Also comes with this beautiful silver ring as a free accessory. Whenever you're not using this filter, you can put this beautiful silver ring on there as an accent instead of like the stock black one and makes your camera stand out that much more. It's beautiful, it's classy. And it's only $19 for, for this. I like this Pro Blackness filter a lot by Hoya. Uh, it was very cheap. It was like the cheapest Pro Blackness filter I can find on eBay, which is why I got it. And it's also by Hoya, which is a good brand. And I just keep this Pro Blackness on in the front because I really like the look and feel of the photo straight out of camera with a Pro Blackness on. It really softens the light, it softens all the hard edges, and it just makes things very dreamy. Oh, and quick point, if you're wondering if this Nisi adapter is going to work with the JJC UV stick-on filter, the answer is yes and no. In regular mode shooting, it works perfectly fine. But as soon as you go into macro mode, the front element of the lens is going to hit the back of the filter, which causes a lens error. I'm just gonna do it one time to show you like that. So definitely not good for your camera to get these lens error. So keep this in mind, if you're using both like me, you cannot shoot macro mode with the Nisi filter on unless you use a step up ring for like a 50 millimeter or 52 millimeter thread. Uh, all you really need to do is extend this flange distance just by like this much and you'll be fine. But while we're here, the second accessories I highly recommend is also this JJC thumb grip, it's specifically for the GR3. They do have one for the GR2, but the GR2's body is a little bit bigger, so I think this is just a little bit longer. This really gives you better grip whenever you're holding the camera. You can just easily dangle it. Uh, without this grip, you are just kind of like holding onto like this area, which makes it really hard sometimes. So it's just better ergonomics whenever you have this thumb grip. It's only like nine bucks, 12 bucks. Highly recommend it, it looks great, and it is actually a useful tool. So to round up the aesthetic and also the protection, I picked this leather case by Limbs. I really like this for a couple of reasons. Number one, the leather actually feels nice. Uh, the bottom is actually metal, and you can see it's built extremely nicely. The, it's just joined very, very perfectly. It does not look cheap. Whenever I'm using this camera, I want it to look cool. I don't want it to look cheap and slap on like $12 cheap fake leather case on there. So this is around 50 something dollars, I think. It's a little bit more expensive. And the second reason why I like to use this case is because of mounting options when it comes to tripod. Now, 
this is the dedicated bolt that goes onto the tripod mount. If I'm just mounting a tripod on here, immediately you can see that it blocks the battery door. You can't even like open it and access it. So it's a pain sometimes if you have a quick release on here. So with the limbs case, you stick it on, quarter turn snug, that's fine. So you can still access the battery door and your SD card right away, no problem there. And the best thing is you can mount a tripod or quick release and you still have access to the battery door. Let me show you. This is a discontinued Joby mini tripod or micro tripod. I think they still have the new version of it, which comes with a phone mount. I think it's around 20 bucks. I highly recommend this and then let me show you why. Along with the limbs case, you can mount this to the bottom. See, with the tripod mounted on here, you still have access to the battery door. It's beautiful. And so you don't have to take the tripod every single time whenever you want to change your battery or change your SD card. All you need to do is you know, push this to the side. And this Joby tripod is amazing. Number one, it folds right under the camera case. See, you see how compact this is? So it really does not affect your ergonomics. If anything, it adds to it, just gives you a little bit more of a base to rest your, your pinky. Number two is it folds right out like this. So whenever you need to like take photos away from the camera, you can easily do that. Really small ball head there and it still holds the camera just fine. It's really stiff. And so you can adjust the angle up to a certain level. But mostly you can really do this on landscape shots. You can't really do it on portrait. Last but not least, something that you probably won't think about is a super cheap lanyard. It doesn't have to be expensive, but I like this type of rope lanyard because it's super flexible, it's super compact, and it still does the job and it's low key. You can do the peak design, wrist strap, and all that fancy stuff, but I want this camera to be compact. My last, last, last recommendation, these are just optional, is to get a bag like this. This is a Viltrox lens bag that came with it. But I always, and I'm paranoid about the dust issues, so I always keep my camera inside one of these bags whenever I'm done shooting. The other thing you can also get is like a cheap point and shoot bag. This is just something cheap that I found on Walmart com and it was like five dollars uh, although when it first came in it, it's too narrow there is a center divider between these two zippers and I just went ahead and cut out <laughs> the center foam part just so that this whole bag will fit the camera it will not fit with the Nisi filter adapter on here however if you're just going with the camera by itself this little cheap five dollar puffy bag is going to keep your camera safe and also away from dust. So I really highly recommend you keeping your camera in the case. If you're too lazy, just put it in a bag like this. As long as there is like a protected layer, you're reducing the chances of dust particles going into your sensor through the barrel or through the lens element. Anyway, highly recommend something like this. It's cheap, you can find them anywhere. This is all of the accessories I highly recommend and everything that I use. In addition, of course, you can always get spare batteries. I recommend Wasabi, it's been a pretty trusted friend of mine so far. This is the Ricoh GR3 and I truly enjoy using this camera. It's been my baby for the past two and a half, three years now. I think when Ricoh GR4 comes out, I'll probably buy it too. So Ricoh, get on it. Hopefully the next camera will be weatherproof and we don't have to deal with the stupid dust on sensor issue. All right, bye.